Hello everyone, this is Takuto Sakura. Greetings from Tokyo, Japan. It is a hard situation, but I am really happy to have this opportunity to talk about my new product, LLMK, which stands for Right Rated Make. So, please let me start. First, I would like to give you an introductive demonstration. Suppose we have this uh, tech documents from the author. And can you guess how can you uh, build this tech documents? It is not necessarily obvious because we don't know which is the main tech source file, what, which tech engine to use, PDF tech, Z tech, or Ruby tech, or else. And also we don't know what big program to use. Maybe for this really simple example, it is easy to observe files and find out that this meeting.tech is the main source file. But as I said, it is not necessarily obvious. Basically, it is difficult to detect which is the right workflow for uh, processing LaTeX documents. But how about if we were told by the author that we use PDF tech for this document and the main source is meeting.tech and the others are input by it. And also we use bibliotech for processing its bibliography. Because you all are experts of tech, now you got that we have to run PDF tech dot, uh, meeting dot tech first and then run bibliotech for its AUX file. And finally, we again have to run PDF tech maybe for a few times until the uh, all cross-references will be solved. Okay, now we got that these a few short sentences are enough to tell the right workflow for human, but how about for systems? Let's tell the exactly same thing to LMK. First, we open a file named LMK Tomo and then tell that we use PDF Raytech for Raytech command and also use bibtech command for bibliography and also the meeting.tef is the main source file. Then we save this file and execute the rmk command. The arguments here looks complex, but this is just to grab the, its output. So basically you don't have to give any arguments here. So now you can see that rmk execute pdf latex first and execute bibtef and finally it execute pdf latex again. Now we get the final result in pdf format just like this. So this is what rmk can do and how it works. Now since Tech, Raytech, and their friends have long history and got numerous users, so we have a number of related programs. For instance, we have several tech engines, including PDF Tech, Z Tech, Rua Tech, and also P Tech for Japanese documents. And we also have a few options for processing bibliography. We have a few indexing program, and also we have several devaware. It is really nice to have such a large number of options, but on the other hand, it is sometimes uh, the workflow to process writing documents can be complex, and also it might be sometimes difficult to detect what is the right workflow for uh, processing uh, LaTeX documents. Something we have to concern is that there is no ultimate best workflow which can be used for any purpose every time, but we uh, the best workflow is different from one project to another. For instance, uh, as far as I know, PDF using PDF tab plus BibTeX plus make index is one of the most popular workflow, but 
sometimes it is reasonable to use uh, ZTEC and Rua tech instead of PDF tech, especially if you want to use your system phone. And also for Japanese documents, it is difficult to process Japanese documents with PDF tech. So PTEC plus DVI PDF MX workflow is still the de facto standard for Japanese documents. It is even true for a single user. A person may use different tools depending on the purpose. For example, in my case, I use PDF Rhetoric for English documents as the first choice and GTEF if I want to use system fonts. And for Japanese documents, I use UPTEC and the WebPDM MX. And also I use RuaTech when I want to use its Rua features. So we have to tell which workflow to use in a project to human such as co-authors, editors and so on, and also to systems like editors, text editors, IDEs, build tools, even in cloud services or in servers. So I thought it would be ideal if we can do this at the same time in an easy and uniform way for both human and systems. Thinking about tearing the workforce, as a Maktaub fact, there are numerous existing tools such as CNU Make. I know they are really useful. They can handle any complex workflow, if you write correctly. But think about the very simple cases, like just telling we are using PDF writing for this document is enough. Really simple case. Do we always provide make file for all documents, including such a simple cases? And uh, I suppose that the workflows for typical small documents are not that much complex. So using such a generic build tool is sort of overcuring. So my hypothesis is that in many cases, just writing we use PDF RATEC on top of the tag file or similar would be just fine. And I'd like to provide an interpreter which can be used anywhere for it, for this purpose. And that is why I begin a new project, LLMK, the right RATEC make. Its mission is to encourage people to always explicitly show the workflow for each document by providing a convenient way to do it. So to complete this mission, the, its uh, design concept has three important things. That is, it should provide easy ways to specify the workflows. It should work in various environments. And finally, it should behave exactly the same in any environment. Now, I would like to briefly overview the design concept of RMK. So the first perspective of the design concept is convenience. That is, uh, make, that makes the RMK uh, simple and easy to use. So it supports independent configuration file named RMK, this name is fixed, and also at the same time it supports magic comments in tag file. That includes Tomer fields, which is the original format for RMK, and shebang like magic comments, and so on. I will describe in detail the about these later. And at the fourth configuration, of the RMK is do our best style, which should work fine in typical and simple writing documents. So uh, the writing documents, which is typical and simple enough, you don't have to write any configuration at all. And the second perspective is portability. Since RMK is designed to be a method of tearing workflow to one another, so it should basically have to work merely everywhere. 
So it is designed to be cross-platform. It works solely with Stack Rua. It only requires Rua Dev to work. So I think this can be used almost anywhere if you have a Stack environment. And something notable is RMK has no, no user configuration, such as .rmkrc file under home directory. Because RMK configuration is a means of communicating workflows, so a LaTeX document which have the same RMK configuration should be treated as exactly in the same way in any environment. User configuration is useful, I know that, but will destroy such a portability in this sense. And I would also like to note or insist this, that RMK is not trying to replace existing tools like GNU Make, LaTeX MK, Alala, and so on. If a document have make file, that means they already uh, query, uh, explicitly uh, describing its workflow. So I am focusing more on simple cases that people neglect using them, which don't have make file or similar. From now on, let me explain briefly about the basic usage of RMK. First, we have to write its configuration. When RMK is executed without any arguments on command line, rmk.toml is loaded automatically. Another option is to use toml field in tag files. Uh, toml fields is, as shown in this example, a special uh, command in tag file. Uh, the place which uh, sandwiched by the uh, com comment line, which co includes more than three plus marks, or Tomer field, and you can write the configuration of RMK in the Tomer format. As I shown, we use Tomer as a format of writing configuration for RMK. This is a small language designed for configuration file. So it is similar to INI formats, JSON, YAML, and so on. It is actually already used by several projects like uh, static site generator Hugo and Cargo, which is a build system for a programming language Rust. So it is already used for a while. Uh, you can find the full spec of the language at uh, https.tomr.io. The characteristics of this language is it is designed to be both human and machine friendly. Of course, whether or not a language is human friendly or not is more or less opinion based, but I can say that it is relatively easy to write the person for Tomer, because actually I could write the Tomer person in a day in pure tech Rua. I will explain about the basics of Tomer anyway, for your reference. It is basically a line-oriented keyboard list, so that is not so complex. And it is actually a kind of INI extension. So it has commands that begin with a sharp mark, and it continues to the end of line. The indentation is allowed, but not required, and defining a key multiple times is invalid. It has several basic data types, uh, like strings, which have basic and literal one. So in the double quotation, you can use escape sequences, but in the single quotation, literal uh, string, you can, uh, the, it is like the verb command of LaTeX, as you may know. There is also integer, floats, and notably it has date time specific types. And there's also, of course, boolean. It also has 
several more basic data types. And here, the types written in lead letters are not supported yet by RMK because we don't have keys to use that, uh, those data types. There is, of course, data structures in Pomo. One simple data structure is an array, which is the values of the same data type uh, separated by commas. Note that uh, values of the other data type cannot include in an array. The example is shown in the second round of the example Tomo. It showed the uh, places which held the tag conference from 2017, Bajotec, Rio, Palo Alto, and this time online. That is an example. And it also have table, which is also known as hash table or dictionary. And for this uh, data structure, no guarantee for the order. An example is shown from the line four in the example. The uh, bracket represents for table name and the table continues to the next table or the end of file. So in this case, uh, the keys hard and snow, which is in line six and seven, belongs to the table snowman. And a bit more complicated, tricky case is nested table, which is shown from line 10 in this case. So the key value color equal pink is in the queen table in their table deck. There are also inline tables and array of tables are available in Tomor specification, but it is they are also not yet supported by RMK. But at this because at this moment we don't have any key to use them their features. Let's back to the basic usage of RMK. There is a few important keys in RMK. The first one is the key RATIC, which is uh, the value of string. Uh, it, this, it specifies the RATIC command to use, and the default is the Rua RATIC. This is because uh, RMK works with Stack Rua, so I can 100% guarantee if RMK works, we have Rua Tech in this environment. We also have key DVIPDF, BIPTEF, and so on. And there's also another key, max repeat, which is uh, values of type integer to uh, that is the maximum repeat times of uh, solving cross references, and the default value is five. As I shown in the first example demonstration in this talk, there's a source key which uh, which specify the source tag files. And this is only valid and required in RMK Tomor. So you don't need this key for the Tomor field. Thinking about more complex cases, in theory, it is RMK can also uh, do the flexible control for such cases. Though this feature is more or less primitive compared to other sophisticated build tools. There are two important data structures for this. One is the sequence array. It is a string array, uh, which consists of the program names in order of the execution. And second one is the programs table, uh, that is nested table, that uh, give the detailed configuration for each program in the sequence array. In the example in the below, uh, the sequence includes the RATIC and BIPDEF, so this is a very simple case. Uh, the detailed configuration for RATIC says that uh, we use GRATIC for RATIC command and use the option recorder. And also for bibtech, we use command bibtech, 
And notably, we uh, in this case, we specify RATEC program as post process so that it this uh, gratec command will execute will be executed after fibtech again there are many available keys in program tables uh, to do for the details configuration for each program but i skip the details here because it is worrying for you to hear but anyway, we have these sort of keys available. And also we have special specifiers which can be used for the values for some keys here, uh, just like shown here. These are similar to the specifiers which is available in Ritec MK. Now, let's talk about the default configuration of RMK. First, what is the default configuration for? It is obvious that writing all configuration from scratch every time is meaningless. Providing do our best style default configuration, which works, which should work for typical simple writing documents, is useful. Doing such, Users don't have to write so much for each document, but they only need to write the difference from the default configuration. And notably for RMK, no user configuration is available. This is because with RMK, a tech file should be processed exactly as the same way anywhere. Here is the default sequence of RMK. By default, RMK runs RateTech command first, then run bibtech, make index, if the files bib and ID, IND exist. And for the modern tech engines, which directly produce PDF, this is all, but if the DBI file is generated, the DBI PDF is executed finally, to produce the final result in PDF format. And this is the default program's table in summary. As I said, Rua RATEC command is used for RATEC program as default. And we use DBI PDF MX for DBI, BibTeF for BibTeF, and make index for make index. And also, the RATIC program is set as hook of the post process for BBTF and make index so that to make sure to rerun the RATIC program after this uh, program executed. There are also default configuration for DBAPS, PS2PDF, and so on, so please refer to our documentation. Uh, this and this default programs table will be extended on demand in the future. So if you have any request, please let me know. Now I want to share some simple use cases. Case one: I want to use DBIPS instead of DBIPDFMX. Actually, there is already configuration for DBIPS and PS2 PDF in the four programs, so modifying sequence is just enough, like shown in the line 5 of this example. Case 2. I want to use my own awesome program. Sure, of course you can use arbitrary command with RMK. Just declare your uh, program in your sequence and then give the detailed configuration in the programs table. Another feature of RMK is cleaning actions. Uh, cleaning actions are available in RMK, but actually this feature is not implemented by myself but by a collaborator, so thanks to him. Anyway, we have two types of cleaning action. First one is clean action, which removes temporary files such as AUX, log, and talk files. The second one is Crowbar, which removes all generated files, including PDF and SyncTech file, in addition to the files deleted by the cleaning actions. 
uh, usually the default configuration should work fine, but of course you can customize it in the uh, Tumblr field. This feature is really simple, so you can just uh, specify the options to execute these actions. There are a few existing formats that allow us to describe the workflow of real tag documents in tag file, and which I want to support them as well in LMK. The first one is shebang like format, which is used by Emacs Yatek. It looks really like Shebang, and using this, it's just equivalent to write the RATEC key in the Tomo field. Another one is the magic comment used by TechShop, TechWorks, and Tech Studio, but this feature is, has not yet been implemented in RMK, so I would love to observe more these, about these in the future. By the way, why you want to write configuration and tech files from the first place? That is simply because sometimes it is annoying to open another file from tech file, especially for small and casual use cases. And I, in my opinion, it would be compatible with tech-specific IDEs and web-based editors. You know that we have this type of toggle menu on tech shop, and also similar on uh, Overleaf. I wanted such an easy and handy options, not only for specific IDEs, not only for specific cloud services, but available for any tech environments in a uniform way. That is almost all about today's talk, but before the actual QA session, I would love to answer a few frequent questions. First one is, how does RMK differ from RATECMK? Well, our goals are similar, but not exactly the same. As I mentioned, the mission for RMK is to encourage people to always explicitly show the workflow for each document by providing convenient ways to do it. Thus, there are some differences between LaTeX MK and RMK. But please carefully note that I am not saying that these are the advantages of RMK. These differences are not about advantages or disadvantages, but just about the differences of our design concept in my point of view. First, RMK allows users to write configuration in tag files, as I said. And second, there is no user configuration in RMK because RMK is intended to provide a means of telling the workflows to process related documents to one another. And finally, I would say that RMK makes less implicit decisions for the workflows. That is because RMK always requires users to be explicit. The second question, does it give clear error messages? Well, I think there is no perfect for this, but I try my best to make the error message from RMK meaningful. For this purpose, RMK has types checker and its own built-in Tomo parser. I know that all of you already get tired by mysterious error messages produced by tech, you know, most notably, missing number treated as zero. Not to add further mysteries in addition to those from tech, RMK has type checker and produce type errors if unsuitable values are given. And I also try to show clear messages for syntax errors as well, with the exact right number that the syntax error happens. Next, what makes RMK latex specific? Well, using it for general purpose is possible in theory, but meaningless because of its latex oriented feature. These are trivial, but as a matter of fact, Magic command features are tag specific because the command uh, letter percentage is fixed, and also the default configuration is set up for typical writing documents. Finally, uh, the rerun feature that 
runs until all cross-references are solved is also latex-oriented. Finally, what about security concerns? Well, the circumstance is the same as the other build tools. However, since RMK always requires explicit configuration, all you need is check to the TOML field or RMK TOML before executing it. Anyway, I should warn this. Do not process unreliable text documents with RMK, especially those you get from internet without checking their contents. Running RMK is just like running LaTeX with no restricted shared escapes. Lastly, I'm gonna talk about the current status and future plan of RMK. The current version of RMK is before version 0.1. Unfortunately, no public release has been made. Similarly, you have to install it manually. But don't worry, it's a single file, so it should be really easy to install it. Please visit our repository on GitHub. In the consideration of backward compatibility, uh, we provide the key named RMK version. You can give the version string to this key. If the compatibility is broken in the future, I'm not sure I'm also not sure what will happen, but at least you will get warning. For the future plan, the most important thing which I have to do is to prepare a preference manual. At this moment, we have only short readme. Though I believe the readme works just fine for normal users, anyway I agree that reference manual is desired. I will make it as soon as possible and hopefully upload RMK to Seton. And also, supporting other magic command formats is in my plan. Other than from that, I haven't decided anything yet. Conclusion Again, the mission for RMK is to encourage people to always explicitly show the workflow for each document by providing convenient ways to do it. For the above mission, RMK is designed to provide several easy ways to describe the workflows and to work in various environments, and it actually only requires realtic in principle. And also to behave exactly the same in any environment. Well done, Titec projects that already have Makefile or else that expertly show the workflow is just fine. My purpose with RMK is to fill the gap between manual execution of the tech related commands and those existing build tools. My desire here is that no more documents that no one but authors knows how to process. So, please visit our GitHub repository of RMK. Thank you for your time, and I am happy to answer your questions and comments. Thank you. Thank you, Takoto. Um, Takoto, you there? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Thank you for the nice, uh, nice lecture. Uh, I don't see uh, many questions in, in either the chat or the, or the question and answer. But uh, we still have about, uh, oh, we up the time. No, no, we still, we still have 15 minutes left. If you, if you need it, you need to use it in any way. Okay. Uh, on the QA session, QQQ on the QA uh, from Henry Monk. Yes. Uh, so first one, when will RMK be included in Tech Drive? Uh, so for that, as I mentioned in the presentation. Mm -mm. I, I'm still working on the on writing the uh, reference manual for the program. And because the program is not that much big, so if I could find time, I can, I think I can finish it as soon, uh, soon enough. And then I'm thinking to upload to Ctern. 
So after that, it should be available from in TechRive as well. And I would say that we'll, I will try my best to do that in a few months. So the answer is in a few months <laughs> for that. And for your second question, uh, it looks very similar to the context build script, which is essentially a wrapper around Ruate. Maybe you could take some inspiration from the functionality provided here, in particular things like changing the name of output file or passing command line uh, variables to the document. Okay, thank you for the insight for advice. Um, actually, I'm uh, not that much familiar with context, so um, yeah, I will definitely check it. Uh, I think that the program's name is something like MTX Run or similar, right? Can I direct you to the chat now, Nakoto? Okay. Um, wait for a moment. How can I see the chat now? Mm. I can I can read the questions for you. Thank you. Yeah, please, please. So sure, Tomo is a well-designed configuration format, but many people are not. Many people are new to Tomo, and must learn it. Uh, also, many programming languages, including Lua, do not have a native way to handle Tomo. Why did you choose Tomo format? Well. That is a curse. Uh, I was thinking that the, using the generic purpose programming languages such as Lua or Part is somehow overkilling for just writing the uh, configuration for processing document. So I was look for, looking for a language which is designed for configuration language. So it is true that many people are new to Tomo, but for especially thinking about the light user of Rating, I think they don't want to learn the generic, a generic language, but it is rather easier to learn uh, configuration-oriented small language. And also in the uh, numerous uh, configuration languages, uh, Tomo is relatively easy to write a, per, write a parser with. I know YAML or JSON are useful, especially YAML are useful for human to write configuration, but its specification is huge and it is really difficult to write the parser for that. Uh, but with uh, Tomo, I could load the parser in pure tech Lua with about a hundred of lines, which is reasonable to do. So that's why I uh, choose Tomo for this project. Mm -hmm. And we have another question from Yasuke Kuroki. Um, as a matter of resolving cross-reference, one, does LLMK consider other packages as long table, for example? Or does have some options to customize them? Um, actually, I haven't checked about the other packages yet, but in Celery, it's, uh, it's monitored the changes in the specified uh, file, not necessarily to a UX file. So if you configure correctly with LMK, I think it is at re uh, uh, in the condition that the package produce the uh, current status to any external file, in theory it is possible to uh, check for the rerun, even if it is not the cross-references. And uh, a, a, a sequel to that question, for a security reason, does LLMK restrict the number of executions by auto-detection? Um, excuse me, ex ex restrict what? For security reason, 
does LLMK restrict the number of executions by auto detection? Uh, so, I think he mean he means you know suppose somebody tricks it to to uh, inter have to execute forever. Okay, so there's a max repeat uh, key in the configuration, and the default value is five. So any program should not repeat more than five by default. So that could be an answer, I guess. Yeah, that, that was the last question. Um, and in the QA thing. from uh, Edgar, Edgar Sakuras. Uh, how RMK identifies if PDF output is stable and doesn't need any more comp uh, comp compilation. So, like I said, uh, RMK monitor the file specified by this auxiliary uh, key and check whether this file is changed from the former uh, compilation. So as far as packages output its current status to the auxiliary uh, to AUX file or similar, uh, it can detect that he needs to rerun uh, process or not. Uh -huh. oh, good, good. Yes, that was it. Thank you very much, Akuto. Nice lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much.